If you practice intermittent fasting or any variation of fasting, you're gonna wanna watch this video because you might be fasting too much. What's up everybody, my name is Ben Azadi. I'm a certified functional health practitioner, best-selling author, and hey, I'm on a mission to educate one billion people on planet Earth, and I'm grateful that you're spending part of your day with me. I love fasting, but it could be dangerous if you do too much of it. That's right, too much of a good thing ends up being a bad thing. In this short video, you're gonna learn how to know what are the signs of fasting too much. You're going to understand and discover two pathways, mTOR and autophagy. I break that down. I explain why bodybuilders die younger than most people. And also, if you are a woman who is premenopausal, I explain why you should never fast right before your period and also do not practice keto right before your period. So without further ado, let's get into this short video about fasting too much. Look, I'm all for fasting. I love it. It's been one of the most powerful ancient healing strategies that I've used in my life. But too much of a good thing ends up being a bad thing. The human body has two pathways. mTOR, which stands for mechanistic target of rapamycin, that stimulates, insulin stimulates mTOR. Protein stimulates mTOR. That stimulates growth. It's anabolic. It's muscle building. It's good, but you don't want too much of it. Autophagy is when your cells start to recycle. We require up to 70 billion cells every day that need to get recycled and replenished. Autophagy is a switch that's turned on when you fast. Think of Pac-Man going through your body, eating up damaged cells and damaged protein. It is catabolic in a good way. It's just like your refrigerator that you have in your kitchen that has expired groceries in it. Well, what will happen if you just push those groceries towards the back of the fridge and then put new groceries in front of it? It's gonna be disgusting. Mold, bacteria, disease. Same thing with your body. Your cells have expiration dates. So autophagy is a way to recycle that. Now, here's the problem. We don't want too much mTOR. We don't want too much anabolic growth. For example, why does the average bodybuilder live to only 58 years old, which is about 12 years younger than the average? Because they're constantly stimulating mTOR. They're eating every two to three hours, high protein, high calories because they want muscle growth and that's their goal and they accomplish it. However, when you're constantly stimulating mTOR, you're duplicating cells. You're taking precancerous cells that are turning into cancerous cells because these cells are like, oh, we have all this energy coming in, let's duplicate ourselves. We don't want that. That's extreme and that creates problems. On the flip side of it, when you're doing too much fasting, your body is too catabolic. Once it's done breaking down the bad stuff, it needs to get energy, so it's gonna start breaking down the good stuff. So how do you know if you are fasting too much? Here's a perfect sign for you to pay attention to. You're cold all the time, not just during a fast. That's very, very normal, nothing to worry about there. But you're cold all the time. You can't adapt to different temperatures from a cold room to a hot room. Your body doesn't adjust well. That's one thing to pay attention to. Number two, your hormones are wonky, you're irritable, and there's just something going on that's just not right. So you wanna get this intuition, you wanna really tap into your body to figure out what's going on here. And if you're experiencing that, do less fasting. Here's a caveat for the ladies watching this who are premenopausal, meaning you get your monthly cycle. The week leading up to your period is the week that you should not practice any fasting and even keto because your body needs insulin spikes from healthy carbs this week. Think about it. Why do many of you ladies out there get all these cravings the week leading up to your period? Chocolate and carbs, because it's your body's way of telling you, hey, we need that insulin spike from carbohydrates to convert specific hormones so we can have a healthy monthly cycle. So when you get a healthy spike of insulin from ancient grains, from yam, yuca, squash, sweet potatoes, that week, five to seven days leading up to your period, your body's gonna reward you for it. You're gonna have a much healthier monthly cycle. It's gonna be less intense, less cramping. It's gonna help the, the egg, the uterine lining, shed more efficiently so you have a healthier period. Once you have the period, you go right back to fasting. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was a little shocking to some people. Like I said, too much of a good thing could be a bad thing. If you wanna learn more about fasting and intermittent fasting, I wrote a best-selling book, The Intermittent Fasting Cheat Sheet. I answer the top 20 questions on intermittent fasting and I back it up with science. Very easy read. You can read it in less than an hour and you understand more about this amazing ancient healing strategy called 
intermittent fasting. To get that book for free, go to fastingcheatsheet.com, claim your free download, start understanding more about this amazing tool. I wanna give a shout out to the comment of the day. By the way, I answer and read every single comment, so you might be featured in my next video, and if you have a question, make sure you comment, because I'll go in and I will respond. The comment of the day today comes from Justin Allgood. Justin says, awesome first podcast, Ben. Looking forward to many more. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate you, brother. Justin's referring to my interview with Dr. Dan Pompa, and that video interview is on this channel, so go make sure you watch that. And if you're, if you're using iTunes, if you listen to podcasts anywhere, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, even Spotify, the Keto Camp Podcast is out into the world. There are brand new episodes being released every Monday and every Friday, so make sure you subscribe to that podcast, give it a listen. The first episode with Dr. Dan Pompa will blow your mind, especially if you've ever had root canals or silver fillings, and if you wanna learn more about fasting for cancer and the dangers of antibiotics, we talk all about that and so much more. So go over to iTunes or your favorite platform and subscribe to the Keto Camp podcast and also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are not subscribed yet. I wanna thank you for your time and spending part of your day with me. Be great, see you in the next video.